Hello everyone, and welcome to the April update for the layout. Uh, I would have liked to have got this out last month, but um, I didn't really do a lot of work on the layout purely because of, of work and things like that, so progress as always has been slow. Um, but I would like to try and get them out monthly rather than two monthly um, to try and give you guys more of an update uh, more often. Um, but for now, let's, let's jump into the uh, updates for, for April. Okay, so starting over this side of the layout on the on the TMD area. Um, on the fueling point itself, uh, it's pretty much all done. Um, all It's all been gravelled and the gravel now has actually been stuck down in, in this whole area. Um, all of the uh, fine turf and various things like that has also been stuck. Um, I've added a security fence along along the front here and I've just added a bit of like a rusty colour um, to make it look a bit a little bit old and I've been experimenting with some uh, Woodland Scenics polyfiber and then I've been adding the uh, fine turf over the top of it to give it an effect of a more like a, a stringy bush. Um, as much as I, d as I do like this like clump turf effect, um, not every tree and every bush is going to be like that. So um, it's good to have a little bit of variation. And when you actually combine the two, um, it does give quite a good effect. The industrial estate hasn't really changed too much. Um, I've added a few little bits of detail, but I do need to give the uh, road another coat of paint um, because I've added uh, the path in and various things like that. Uh, now, I'll come to the how I've done the path a little bit later, um, but I just need to add a little bit of signage and, you know, repaint it, re-road re, re mark it, and then uh, that should be pretty much done. So coming into this area, the middle area of the TMD section, uh, as you can see, the security fence comes a comes along a little bit further. I do need to buy another set of this because um, I've unfortunately run out. Um, but it is going to run along pretty much to the concrete area and then it's going to stop there. Uh, I've brought a few new network rail vans uh, and I've just been adding little, bit of, little bits of detail like the crash barriers, um, a second yard light's been added and uh, I'm going to be adding some uh, concrete bollards around the concrete area of the, uh, of the little hut there. And then over to the concrete area itself, um, this is now fully done, um, I've got it to how I want it. Um, I'm not really too sure how this looks at the moment. Um, I tried to give the effect that they've kind of tarmacked up to a certain bit and the concrete area starts. You see it in a couple of roads and various things like that um, where you know the council have just tarmacked half of it and then left the other bit to be concrete as a, as a concrete road. Um, so I've kind of gone for that effect. I mean, it might work. I can always change it in the future. Um, and then in the TMD itself, as you can see, I've just been adding some some little details. Um, I've made some shelving, uh, and I'm going to be adding these skips and some sleepers and some rails to the uh, to the left hand side of the camera. Um, in the inspection pits, they've been surrounded with a red uh, kind of warning square. Um, you know what health and safety is like. It's, it goes crazy nowadays, so I thought I'd add it in. And I do plan to actually add lights to the uh, engine shed itself, um, just to give it a little bit uh, of light in there. And actually, I can take pictures in there with the detailing and loco sitting in there, which should be good. Uh, again, all this track over here has all been graveled, um, and I've just been adding some uh, finer details. Uh, I don't know if you can see the sleepers over the back there. Um, I'm going to add some rails and various things like that. You know, just some line side clutter. Uh, and then I'll finish it off with some graffiti under the under the bridges and on the walling and stuff like that. So rather than start the station area, I decided to work on this area here. Uh, the main update is probably this bridge that I scratch built. Um, the road itself has been pretty much it's pretty much the colour that I want it now, and it's, it's pretty much done. Um, the curbs and various things still need to be painted, and, and the back of the bridge itself and it still needs to be painted. Um, but I scratch built this out of the same um, the same material that I used uh, for the walling. Uh, they actually do sheets of it. Um, I think I got it from Sherwood Models or something like that, and they do uh, sheets of it. So it made a good uh, good chance for me to scratch build a little a little bridge, uh, road bridge, and it gives it a nice scenic break from the TMD area into the the countryside, um, where this will all be like mainly fields and uh, things like that. Now the roads itself. Um, the curb stones come from scale model scenery. Um, they're probably the best curb stones you can buy on the market. I, uh, well, I personally think they are the best ones I've certainly used, purely because they're uh, they're obviously 3D printed or whatever they are. 
um, but you can bend them and actually curve them into the into the shapes that you want um, so it gives a nice natural if you see that natural curve on the left there round where it follows the the shape of the bridge and it gives a nice effect, effect rather than you know if you, you use like matchsticks or if you get like a, a plastic one you can't really bend it as well now for the curves itself I tried a few uh, methods for this my first method was to to cut up you know, like plastic curb stones, stick them behind the curbs, uh, the curbs themselves, and then make the path like that. Um, but that didn't really work for me. I didn't like the fact that you could see all the joints and, and things like that. And it was just overall, it, it didn't give me the effect that I wanted. So what I did, um, actually, it was actually left over from a, a, a job that I did. I had some uh, some polyfiller left over, and once I'd put the, the curb stones down, I basically just scrape this this filler over over the path over the curb and where this filler is actually it was it was a really cheap cheap filler that I used and it was actually really rubbish for the, the job that I was doing but it turns out it's actually really good for model making um, so it didn't actually stick to the curb stones and I could easily just wipe it off and what it's given me is like a nice flat tarmac effect uh, because you if especially around my area, if you look at most of the, the curbs and stuff, they've actually been tarmacked rather than like cobblestones. Um, so I wanted to go for that look and then I'll, um, I'll paint them a slightly lighter shade than the, uh, than the roads. Um, I mean the roads, it's a, it's a bit too dark for me, it looks like brand new tarmac. Uh, I kind of wanted a lighter shade as if it had faded and been worn a little bit. Um, and I actually used the Woodland Scenics top coat, which I thought was a little bit lighter than that. Um, but turns out it's actually just pretty much black paint. Um, so uh, yeah, that was kind of a, not really what I was expecting. And then to the area where the uh, top lines join the bottom lines, as you can see, I still need to uh, rust up the track. Um, that will carry on all the way down until it disappears onto the baseboard. Um, but I've just been adding, I've, I've gravelled up sort of a good foot or so. And I've just been adding some uh, some fine turf to to lay the base of the uh, of the scenery. Um, I will be adding some uh, clump turf, like I've started doing there. I need some more trees and things like that. But I'm still kind of unsure what I'm going to put there. I don't know if I just want to load it with trees, or whether I just want to, you know, put some polyfiber and make it kind of just a little bit overgrown. Um, I kind of need something in there um, that's a little bit different, um, but I'm not really too sure. In the foreground here, I've got this substation. This I brought from Batman Scenecraft uh, ages ago uh, on my old layout, in fact, and I decided to use it again. Unfortunately, where I glued it to the base, um, it's actually stuck on a bit of ply. So um, I'm going to have to raise the uh, the ground level up around it to make it to make it blend in. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to actually build like a modern substation. And then have like pylons running off into the uh, into this area over here, and then like off to the wall. Um, I think that'll look quite good, and it's it's, it's kind of something you see in the line side area. Back over in this bit here. Now I've got three tunnel fronts, um, and in the last update I didn't really, you know, touch on too much of what I was actually going to do. Um, but what I've decided to go for is an unused kind of derelict tunnel front. Um, if I can just come in here. You can see I'll put some security fencing up. It still needs another coat of paint. Um, but then I've kind of, uh, hopefully, if I just get it to focus on there, you can see that I've, I've kind of gone for the unused, kind of derelict path effect, a little bit overgrown. Um, and it's just, I've, there's a gate in the middle there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it to run through into this area here. And then that'll be the way that they access all these uh, substations and things like that. Um, the bridge girders, I scratch built myself, uh, these are just basically out of uh, plastic card. Um, I've actually changed the wall in that I'm going to use as well. Um, I've ended the uh, like styro, like the polystyrene kind of wall in at the bridge and I'm actually going to start using the plastic card but it's going to be the same colour um, because I'm actually quite happy with this colour that, um, that I've actually found. Um, it's just a basic B&Q colour, um, it's not, nothing too th fancy but it works for me. Um, and then the bridge girders, the one on the left was actually a Pico bridge girder. And then the one on the right, if my camera just decides to focus, um, was actually a wheels kit. 
and I think the wheel skits actually look a little bit better purely because the Pico one's got a slight raise in the middle and uh, I'm not really overly keen on that but I think for a first scratch built attempt that's not really too bad and then again uh, the baseboards over here have all been painted brown around the edge um, I haven't done the inside yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this bit I might lower it down to give you know a bit of like gradient effect and make it look like the uh, the railway's up on like an incline or something like that um, but in the foreground here the area which comes down to the bottom layer as you can see I've added some wall in now it probably looks like I haven't gone all the way up and I've purposely done this because I want to put some some greenery along the top here and have it kind of like overgrown so like the hedge comes down the, the bank comes down a little bit and then the walling starts um, the other side have gone straight up to the baseboard uh, and these have all had like one coat at the moment and this was all uh, used from plastic card as well and as you can see I've added the tunnel front as well um, it's amazing actually what a, a little bit of like a little bit of walling adds, adds you know just to cover up the bare like MDF um, actually adds a bit of character to the uh, to the layout okay so that's about it for the uh, April update uh, I haven't shown you the other side of, of the station area yet because it's an absolute tip it's used as a uh, while I'm working on the TMD um, it's actually being used as like a loco storage and stock is just everywhere so I didn't really want to put that in but I've actually moved the platforms into the areas that I want them to, to be moved into um, so they just need to be extended and I need to buy some Pico sides um, to put on the edge of the platforms and then I can start cracking on with that. Um, but I'm actually happy with the progress that I've made for once. Um, I still need to add all of the third rail into this section here, probably not into the TMD as such. Um, but yeah, certainly into, into the main running lines. So that'll be something I can add in a bit later. Um, but yeah, as always, if you guys did enjoy this, um, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, a running session will follow soon. Um, you know, because I've actually got some locos that I need to, to showcase and uh, running sessions are always very, very popular on the channel. Um, but yeah, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching um, and I'll catch you in the next one.